Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I am thinking about ghosts today and what we would term ghosts. I, I mean like, you know, doors flipping open and closed, um, these ghost hunter um, shows on TV. I have watched one or two and it's just the biggest load of cack. Um, but I want to start this video by just asking you what, are your, what is your opinion on ghost hunting TV programs, like, do you believe that those people are 100% fake? Do you believe that that video is completely set up from top to bottom, scripted, the whole toot? Or do you believe that when these people go and go to the haunted asylum, or they go into the graveyard, or they go here, or go there, or the most haunted house in America, I mean, I've seen that same house, like, featured in different videos, where it's actually, a diff the same house has been used for completely different things, and I'm thinking, like, okay, wow, well, that's, like, in this video, it's the most haunted house. In that video, it's the most, it's the oldest house in America. And in that video, it's like a must-see when you go to the States. I mean, I'm just like, okay, I'm using that as an example. But ghosts and spirits, do you believe that they can be filmed, that you can take photos of them, that they, they, they are these things such as sound and, um, is it EVP, electro voice phenomenon? Um, or do you think it's just, it's just a, a load of BS. Um, do you think that maybe it's a combination? I personally think it's like a combination of things. You know, we are so quick to um, to just write things off. Ah, oh, what a crap! You know, ghost hunters. What a load of what a stupid program. None of that is real. Do you believe that all those programs are scripted? Do you think that? Like, I wonder if the people who make them actually go in knowing there's no such thing, knowing in their heart and believing in their minds that they never, it's just a show, they're not going to find anything, they know they're not, and then they do all the like, bells and whistles off, quite literally, off screen, and there's a bang, and then they're, they're running to the place, and of course there's, there's nothing there. I believe that 99% of that is show. It's a great way of getting ratings up. You know, I mean, everybody is, everybody's like interested in that shit. Um, I think even the most skeptical person just kind of watches it with one eye, you know, because they don't want to miss out. Just in case, there's always that little voice in your head going, maybe, maybe this time they'll see something. Or maybe this time I'll spot something in the background. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Comment down below. I have this thing where I... <laughs> I have, a, I have a problem believing in ghosts. I think I've done a video on, on ghosts before. I have a problem believing in like ghosts, actual like, ooh, you know, um, coming to get you, Barbara, kind of stuff. I do believe in energies. I do believe that there are some nasty energies out there, very, very um, negative energies. I don't like using the word demon because it comes across as like, oh, it's, uh, I don't know, I just, I just don't, I don't like that, that word. It just sounds fake. It sounds like I'm, I'm kind of trying to be this, like, you know what I mean. You guys watch a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of TikTok. Um, there are so many weird things out there and so many strange coincidences that we as, as human beings can't explain. We, I'm not surprised that we want to believe that these programs are real. And I'm focusing specifically on, I'm not going to name, mention names, I've mentioned one, but I don't really want to, I don't want to name and shame. Because I think that the amount of entertainment we get, we, I watch those, I don't watch a lot, but I often will watch something on, on YouTube if I'm bored. But I don't want to say, you know, come down on people like that and say, ah, oh, you're a bunch of assholes, how dare you try and calm the world. I believe it's a form of entertainment and it is great entertainment. If you've ever watched one of those things, you can basically see it's a load of shit. Okay, but it's entertaining shit. And in my world, the little world that I've created for myself, I don't care. You can be, I don't care what you are, as long as you are entertaining. Okay, that's kind of a, a broad base. Obviously, if you're, a, if you're a complete nut job, then yeah. But generally, whatever you are, be entertaining about it or just be an entertaining person and I do find that these 
I'm gonna you know sort of boogeyman search kind of ghost search um, programs are oh, hugely entertaining. People say, oh yeah, but you just follow some camera crew around and all you see is the night vision and I don't see anything wrong with that. I think it's great entertainment. I do, however, have an issue where the program tends to push the envelope a little bit and insist that um, they've taken this voice message and they've done this and there are photos. And, you know, when they try too hard, too hard to be more um, proving what they want to, instead of being entertaining. Because let's face it, there is a very slim, slim chance that those programs are going to find anything supernatural. If they do, and I have not watched any that come close, if they do, it would be all over the newspapers. It would be all over. God, do you people still read newspapers? Do they still print them? It will be, <laughs> it will be all over the internet. It will be like on TikTok. It will be on uh, Facebook, on wherever, you know. Um, it will definitely be on some platform where it's going to be like, Wow, we have proved the existence of ghosts, and nobody's done that yet. All right, people have said, "Oh, you know, I've contacted the spirit world. Well, I've, I've seen a spirit, but have you? Have you really?" I have like a serious doubt. If I'm talking about people who are who are in this kind of film field of photographing phantoms, <laughs> um, I, I I don't believe that that is all true. Um, I don't believe that these people actually encounter anything except the wind and creaking pipes. However, having said that, what if that is actually uh, not right? What if that's not true? What if my belief that they're not genuine? What if that's not true? What if? What about the other one percent that perhaps are looking um, in the right place for the right kind of ghost or spook? Um, I, I believe that there is an, uh, uh, this, this energy, this negative and positive energy. I believe that there is energy that can manipulate and move things, that can definitely manipulate your perception of things. Um, there was an exper experiment done, I, I don't know when, but um, apparently there's this, this phenomenon that if you stare into a mirror for long enough, and I'm not, I'm not sure the actual um, time span, like how long, but eventually what will happen is if you stare into that mirror, you'll start seeing images behind you, ghostly images. Um, you'll start see, having hallucinations about stuff behind you. Now, you can go and look that up on Google, go and read about it. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's the same as with um, when human beings have, a, have something called pareidolia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Where you see faces. We are predisposed to see faces and everything. So if you look at a Rorschach, picture you'll see a face generally a face if you look if you look at the bark of a tree um, we tend to our minds tend to find faces within the patterns on the tree it's called pareidolia i think um, so what is stopping us from creating that image in our mind of a ghost or a, a this or a that an interesting thought um, i would I, I would love you guys to share your ideas with me and, and, and share what your beliefs are you know, please don't slate each other while you're down there. Don't don't be rude and, and, and horrible um, because, you know, I'm entitled to my opinion. You're entitled to yours and everybody else is entitled to theirs. So comment nicely. Let's share our, our experiences. And yeah, I'm Matt from Tubby Terror and I will see you on the flip side.